Good afternoon everyone. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity on this lovely sunny day to read a story. Um, you can watch it when you have a moment um, and I'll ask a few questions as I go through just so you can have a bit of fun with it. So I have chosen today What the Ladybird Heard by Julia Donaldson. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy dog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed and a cat that purred, and a fine prize cow and a ladybird. And the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck, hiss said the goose and quack said the duck nay said the horse oink said the pig bah said the sheep and woof said the dog one cat meowed while the other one purred and the ladybird never said a word but the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard she saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them, in wi heard them whisper, this is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right, round the duck pond, pass the hog, be careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the fine prize cow shed. And the little spotty ladybird, who had never said a word, told the animals how, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the door at the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hog, being careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow shed. And the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck, hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog, ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow, we can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered into each animal's ear. At dead of night the two bad men, hefty Hugh and lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, nay, with all her might, and then said, that's the horse, turn right. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck said, Hugh, we're right on track. Wink said the cats, there goes the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Bah, said the big fat red hen, the sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they stepped into their duck pond, splosh. And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh. And he called the cops and they came, knee nor, and they threw the thieves in their panda car. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck, hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay said the horse, wink said the pig, ba said the sheep and woof said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred, but the ladybird never said a word. And there's the farm. So I wonder if in the comments you can post the answer to a couple of questions. So throughout this book there were lots of rhyming words and I wonder if you were listening really carefully and can spot 
a pair of rhyming words and if you can post them in the comments also one interesting point that i wanted to pick up on they didn't call it a police car they called it the panda car why do you think they called it the panda car again please add that into the comments with your answers and i look forward to hearing and seeing who has listened to my story i will try and do another one um, have a lovely afternoon and thank you for everything you've been sharing i've really enjoyed seeing what you've been up to Take care.